This video illustrates basic actions on objects in Live Interior 3D. You can start using Live Interior 3D right out of the box, as the program is provided with a large collection of 3D objects. To access them, click the Objects button. Objects should appear on the palette at the top of the screen. To add an object to your project, just drag it from the palette to the place where you want it to appear. This works if the 2D or 3D view is open. By default, the program opens the Favorites category. At this point, it will be just a mixture of objects from different categories. As you continue your work, only the objects that are needed may be kept here so that you can use them in the current project or those that you use most frequently. To get to the objects that don't fit on the screen, scroll the palette using the mouse wheel or click the arrows to the left or to the right from the object previews. These arrows become visible when you pass the mouse cursor over the previews. There are two buttons on the palette in the corners of the screen. The Materials button to the right displays the materials on the palette. The Library button opens a list of object categories. To use objects from any category, simply click on it. Objects from the selected category will be shown on the palette. Let's choose armchairs. In order to display the favorites category on the palette again, click the favorites button. The manage library button brings you to the part of the program where you can customize the object library. Here you can add more categories and rearrange objects between them. Please read the program documentation for more details in this process. To return to the project, we can use the Back button. Let's add some more objects to our project. You can drag objects and drop them on your floor plan right where you want them to appear. This also works in the 3D view. Did you notice that the lamp is automatically stuck to the ceiling? This is because furniture objects have what is called a Glue Options feature that makes sure they stick to the correct surfaces. When you drag and drop a window or door into the 2D or 3D view, it is automatically snapped and inserted into the wall. Note that objects can be moved in both the 2D and 3D views. If the resized dots are not seen, it means that the object resize is locked. You may unlock it in the Object Properties tab and then modify the necessary object to your liking. This tab also allows to change glue options set the elevation of an object, and more. Copying and pasting objects in Live Interior 3D works the same way as with any other program. Just select Copy in the context menu of an object, and then paste it. Pasted objects are added at the location where the cursor is placed. You can do this in the 3D view as well. The program allows you to manipulate several selected objects at the same time. For example, you can copy and paste several objects, rotate, or resize them. To select several objects in the 2D or 3D view, hold down the Shift key and then click on each object that you want to select. On the floor plan, you can also select objects using the selection frame. Note that it is possible to move several objects together only in the 2D view and only one object can be moved at a time in the 3D view. To move multiple objects in 3D, just group them first. The program supports grouping objects. To create a group, you need to select several objects, right-click on one of them, and then choose Group in the context menu. Grouping lets you move and rotate objects together so that they always maintain the same distance. To separate the grouped objects, select Ungroup in the context menu. Apart from grouping, you can merge several objects into a single one. The Merge command is also available in the context menu. Merging is helpful when you need to create a new object out of several parts and when you don't need to split these parts later. In a big project with lots of objects, it can be useful to have a list of objects used in the project. In Live Interior 3D, such a list is called the Project Tree. You can find it in the last tab of the inspector. The objects here are displayed inside the floors that they belong to. Apart from just enumerating objects, 
the project tree lets you lock objects and control their visibility. Obviously, when an object is invisible, you can access it only in the project tree by searching for it by its name. By default, objects in the project tree retain the names they have in the object library or the names of files from which they were imported. If you want to use a more appropriate name, right-click on the object name and choose the Rename command. In Live Interior 3D, you're not limited to using only the objects included in the embedded library. You can import more of them from the Trimble 3D Warehouse, an online collection of free 3D objects. Additionally, you can import from 3DS or Kaleida files if you have already downloaded them to your hard drive. To import an object, click the Import button in the app bar and choose the appropriate option. For more details about working with objects, read the program documentation. To increase your performance, you can use the keyboard shortcuts. They are listed in the program's Help. There you can also find useful information about gestures if you are using a PC with the touchscreen. Well, that's about it. We'll see you next time.